Hello friends, I'm Andre from Ruski Airsoft Workshop and in this short video I would like to answer the question that already popped up what about using Gate Electronics Titan uh, version 3 MOSFET unit inside the gearbox of uh, for example LCT VSS or ASVAL or SR3M gun so first of all we, we need to take a closer look on how the selector plates are working in both guns. Here I have a gearbox from the previous video, standard AK, with standard AK selector plate. And this is the gearbox from my AS file with uh, this specific um, selector plate for AS valve. The safety on this gearbox is purely mechanical so your safety lever on the body will only move this part blocking or not this tiny part that is pushing your contacts uh, inside the gearbox uh, when you remove the safety put your gun on fire you just remove this piece so your trigger is moving freely now when you do it on your AK, you actually move in the selector plate. So this Y, the Titan, these two tiny sensors on the Titan can detect the movement, the change of uh, the fire mode and uh, operates according to the selected firing mode. Uh, so this is the first uh, problem that we need to solve. I don't think there is a clear solution, but yeah, let's see how it proceeds further uh, with the selecting the automatic and semi-automatic mode. And then at the end of the video, I will put my ideas uh, in a list. Let's proceed further. On the AK gearbox, you go from safety to automatic mode and then when you push it completely forward you are in semi-automatic mode this is very important that's why the gate control station asks you what type of selector are you using this is AK selector so safety automatic semi-automatic when you do it on your uh, V-box so-called V-box you have this part in here and actually there is no safety on this side of the gearbox there is only mechanical safety on the other side of gearbox so basically when your um, gun when the selector on the gun is put on safety uh, this is how this part is located when you put the gun on auto the selector on the body pushes over here opening the cutoff lever so this is how the switching between semi-automatic and automatic mode works here on the V-Box my idea is to use the selector mode from G36 type so putting your gun on semi-automatic mode and then uh, so your gun goes through safety, goes to semi-automatic mode and then you push it further to full automatic mode. So let me put this part in the gearbox of AK and see how it will, how it will work. So let's remove this selector and put our own, uh, the selector from the V box. I have applied some white uh, isolation tape on this part to allow the sensor to detect the reflection from the light it's emitting um, because the, the black part will not reflect any. For us, for now, it is important to memorize the position of this selector plate here. So this is semi-automatic mode. So the corner of this part is about the opening for the cut off uh, lever window when we put in automatic mode it goes higher so about a millimeter or two 
just over here. Now let's put this part in the AK gearbox. I will not put it in the body because this is an AK gearbox. I will need to remove this uh, part and I won't do it because it's a gearbox of my customer. So basically when we put our part in the V-box this will be the safety mode and this will be about full automatic mode. Now let's see um, how the gate control station detects the, the change of the position of this selector plate and see if we can really use it in G36 type. For G36 it's going from safety to semi to auto and that should help us to work around this problem. Okay, we are connected to gate control station. The MOSFET is connected, so it looks like there is a new firmware, Beton 03, available for this Titan version 3, but I will not install it yet. Let's go to the sensor page and see our uh, gearbox is not calibrated. Let's do quick trigger calibration. Next, save. It's calibrated, so now we have calibrated our trigger, we can uh, configure the sensitivity. And now let's proceed with the selector calibration. So as you can see, we can choose to go from safe auto to semi in AK mode, or from safe to semi to auto in G36 type mode. Let's choose this one. Uh, switch selector to safe and press next. We do not have any safe, so I will leave it in the position for uh, semi. Next, put it in semi. It is in semi. Next, put it in automatic mode, so I will move the switch a little bit, about two millimeters higher. Next, and then return it to the position where it should be in semi-automatic mode and press save. So what do we see now? This is actually quite interesting. Let me zoom a little bit. So we see there is the detection of something. Uh, the sector, selector mode sector is detecting something and when I move the selector plate I can go here in the zone of when you can see it is in auto firing mode. So basically I can go back to semi. We can configure our sensitivity over here, but we cannot configure our safe sensitivity because there is no electronically or uh, because the safety mode is only uh, mechanical. So I suppose if I put a Titan MOSFET unit inside my V-Box and do the same calibration, but already inside the body, it should work. The only drawback of this solution is you don't have a safe position of your uh, selector plate so your MOSFET will be constantly on when uh, in normal AK operation or normal G36 operation when you put your gun on semi the MOSFET is going off so shutting down the sensors for power saving. So I moved the camera to the V-Box. This is the position where the gun should be on semi and the gate control station is showing me indeed it is between the borders of the safe and auto, so in the semi mode. If I move it a little bit higher, the detector goes above that semi slash auto border, so the gun should be firing in fully automatic mode. Let me connect the motor and see if it actually works as I think it should work. I have connected a battery and the motor to this gearbox and the gun is on calibrated semi setting. Let's check if it is actually working as it should. No. No. So actually the gun is 
shooting on fully automatic mode. If I move the selector here higher, probably the sensor beam is not reaching the detector. Might be a reason because when I move it on here, the, the white uh, tape is lower when the sensor can uh, can sense the beam it's firing as it should in automatic mode I would say it's worth to try it's but this video should not be used as a manual to do it um, you can try it at your own risk uh, I did not test it yet in my uh, own V box I will be doing it but not today or even not tomorrow so I think as a proof of concept it's acceptable the back draw of course if you as you remember I told it already is that you have only mechanical uh, safety so your Titan will always be on so this will be it it's not an official review video it's just my small um, idea slash proof of concept of can it work can it not work I think it it should work but yeah of course we will need to to evaluate it on the production gearbox I would like to thank you for watching this uh, if you try it at home to make the Titan work inside your uh, V box share this information will be very useful thanks a lot for watching this Good night.